So you want to play guitar like a leap by time and you don't know where to get started. Well, let's talk about a few tips and tricks to help you along the way. First thing is how you practice. Uh, you want to sound really good when you practice. And so a very easy way to do if you have an iPhone is to use this. It's the headset that comes with it, the earbuds and the microphone. And an app called GarageBand has a little bit of compression, a little bit of reverb, and that's going to give you that full, rich sound that you hear on, on the recordings, just a little bit of reverb, a little bit of compression. If you don't have an iPhone, uh, I'm going to put a link to the description of some apps that you can get on an Android phone. And just when you practice, use this. If you're recording yourself, use this as well. It's going to give you that full sound. If if you got a recording, if you don't have two phones, uh, one to record on and one to film yourself on, just take the audio from when you film it and put a little reverb and compression on it too. It's gonna make you sound so much better, give you more confidence and really rich, full sound. Let's talk about the guitar. You don't need a fancy guitar like he has to be able to play what he's playing. This is a Sigma in the US. I paid uh, less than $150 for this. Uh, really, any guitar will work that you can get your hands on. Solid top sounds better. Uh, if you can find one with that, this is solid spruce top. The main thing is the setup. You want at the 12th fret, you want the strings to be no more than two millimeters high right here at the 12th fret. And a couple things you can do to adjust that uh, is you can look down the neck, see if it's straight, and uh, the little wrench that comes with this, there's, there's a hole inside and you can turn it uh, to tighten or loosen it and that will straighten out your neck. That will help. If it's still more than two millimeters high, uh, you can take the strings off, pull out this saddle, and you can file down the bottom of that a little bit at a time, put it back on and until you get to that two millimeter mark. That's going to make a big difference in your ability to, to play those up the neck parts. It makes it so much easier to uh, make the chords and uh, just makes it really a lot easier to play. So whatever guitar you have, measure is it two millimeters at the 12th fret from the top of the fret to the bottom of the string, two millimeters, and uh, then you're good to go. Let's talk about tunings. You want to know what tuning he's using because most of them aren't standard. The one I was using a minute ago uh, tunes uh, to a, a very different tuning. You, it's a D A C G B. Uh, D and so uh, you, you change the tuning on three of the the strings and that changes all the chords and so you want to make sure you get the right tuning before you try to play it because it's not going to work otherwise and then once you figure out the tuning once you got your guitar set up uh, you you want to make a realistic practice goal for your your session you don't want to try to tackle the entire piece and play it all the way through that's usually in, impossible. You want to make a very small, realistic goal for yourself. So uh, think about this. How do you eat an elephant? <laughs> One bite at a time, right? How do you move a mountain? You, you pick up a grain of sand. So you want to have manageable pieces uh, to th these songs because they're brilliant, gigantic, wonderful arrangements of a lot of songs and it's really difficult to just try to do all of that and remember all of that it's uh it's really impossible to just sit down and play one so uh take a little piece a phrase a small section and uh one thing you can do on youtube if you go to uh, the bottom on a computer or on your phone uh there's the three dots and that will let you change the playback speed uh, and and so you can slow it down and you can see exactly what he's playing uh, and it, it really makes a big difference in your learning. You can also uh, look for transcriptions. That's the word you want to search for and people have tabbed this out and you can see the music written out there. So that makes a big difference. So here's here's how you approach those small goal, goals. So something like Sweet Child of Mine, uh, he's doing things with, with both hands. You, you really got to get used to uh, a certain part before you can add the other hand. So you want one of those to be second nature to where you can just automatically do it without thinking about it and then you can add in the other parts. So uh, pick the opening phrase 
and get that down first before you move on uh, to the to the next part. So that would be one little phrase that you would work on and just master that before you go to the next part. Okay, and then you, you, you keep adding to that. And then when you go to add the right hand, which is playing the bass line, then you're you're going to want to practice that separately. So practice just that part with your right hand and then try to put them together. And then once you get a small portion mastered, then you can move on to another part of the song. And that, that really is a way to to learn these, to master them, and you're relying on muscle memory. Your body remembers these movements, so if you do them over and over enough, you get to where you don't have to think about it so much. It becomes automatic, and then just add to that. Repeat the process. You master a little bit, get the muscle memory, and then move on to the next one. Another thing, watch his technique. He's he's relaxed. He's not tensing up and really, you know, he's he's just relax when he's playing it's uh, you want to get to that point where I mean you you don't have to think about it you're not tense because uh, that's gonna wear out your muscles uh, and you're not gonna be able to play as well or as cleanly uh, you're gonna make more mistakes uh, the more tense you are so you want to you want to relax you want to tell yourself to breathe uh, and take your time and and be relaxed as you're you're going through this. It takes some persistence and really some obsession uh, to stick with it to to master the whole piece. But again, think of it like a video game. Uh, you know, each time you sit down to play, you want to add to what you know, uh, and so you can level up each time you sit down to play. You want to level up. You want to add another phrase to what you already know. You want to be able to play what you already know all the way through without making a mistake. It's something. Set a realistic goal for yourself so that when you sit down, you feel a sense of accomplishment when you are done. No matter how long, much time you have to practice, you, you want to level up. And that way you feel confident when, when you're done. You, you might not know the whole piece, but that way you're not ending in frustration and you're ending in confidence and, and ready to come back to it the next time that you do that. Um, as you're slowing down the videos, watch his, his ornaments, his phrasing. He does these uh, pre-bends. He does these things where uh, you, he plays the note up here and he bends it, pushing it down above the nut. Really cool techniques that you can incorporate into your, your own playing. These flicks. Yeah, he does really cool things like that. So pay attention to the nuance there. Don't just get the right note, but get the right phrasing, the right emphasis, because if you put the emphasis on the wrong syllable, uh, you see what I did there? You put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. People aren't going to respond to it as well than as if you really, really nail it and get it all right. So, hey, make your own transcriptions like that. Copy his style. Uh, pick a melody that you really like and uh, you know, look for ways that you can play this same note some, somewhere else. Where is it? There we go. <laughs> See, if you change the tuning, you don't know where you are. So find ways to make the chords and keep the melody going uh, in, in new places. That's how he, he does that. He, he's playing the melody but he's moving it around so that he can make the chords and still keep that melody going. It takes some time and some, some brilliance to, to work that out, but it's, it's incredible when you see the result. So, hey, hang in there, have fun, and keep playing.